Hello, my name is Leroy Blevins. Welcome to Mysteries and Histories. Uh, in this episode here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you some of the stuff that we've done there in Dallas, Texas. And I'm going to eliminate locations of any other gunmen. Now, as I point out, and you know, as people knows, an image is worth a thousand words. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you the things that we eliminated, okay, to put this little one to rest, okay, to put this little thing to rest. This is also going to be in, some of it's going to be in the DVD because it's going to be a lot more, but I'm just going to give you a little look-see, I should say, into things we accomplished while we was there. And one thing, as you notice, which I'll pull this up first, this right here, the map of Dealey Plaza. Now, as I point out in my research and stuff, and as we all heard over the years, Gunman's locations. And then we have, you know, like the badge man. From, they said it was in a Mormon photo. And then someone pointed out a gunman in the Orville Nix film, which I'll show you right here. We have the badge man, okay. They said was behind a picket fence. We have uh, this gum in here that someone said they seen in the Orville Nix film. And we got James Files story and everything else, right? So what I'm gonna do in this video here is we're gonna look at those locations and we're gonna see if they can get a clear shot from the locations. Because I stood in those locations that where they claim these gunmen were and even the manhole cover. I mean, there's storm drain coming. And I'm going to show you. And this is what I do. Is what I do is when I see a claim of stuff, I go there. I went and did my investigation. And I eliminate. I eliminate views and everything else. So what we're going to do is we're going to pull up this coming here. Okay, we're going to pull up this coming right here. And we stood in the location supposedly where this coming was right here. And now you're going to see, for the first time, a gunman's view if he was in this location as they want to claim. There you go. You see, there is no way that a gunman in this location, which I'll pull up this one right here. Let's see, where's the oral? Did I bring out the oral next film? Anyway, I'll pull up this one right here. This is from my other files. We're going to put this up here. I'm going to pull this up, this one up, and this one up. Okay. I'll bring this one down here. Bring this one over here. As I pointed out in my research, that the so-called gum that they show in the Orville Nix film that's beside the shelter here is right here, they claimed, if you watch the cursor right here, right? They said this is the Orville Nix film and this is what it looks like right here, right? I stood here, we stood here, we stood even further back as well. Here's that view that we got. Now remember, the shot, how, what's he gonna shoot at? The wall from that location? The only way you can get a look at that angle, okay, I would have to be standing way above here. In the background behind the shelter, I would have to stand completely above the shelter to be able to see where the fatal headshot occurred. So you see, right here is that gunman's view. You see the road up here. You see the part of the road down here. Remember, you got three guys standing here now, remember. you got three guys standing here. What's he going to shoot at? The wall? At one time, there was a bench right here back in 1963. Okay, like this lamppost really wasn't here, and this other lamppost over here wasn't there. There was some lamppost they actually added to the place over the years. But as you see here, if you're standing on the ground, you can't even see the road. You would have to be as high as the shelter, which you have to have a long step ladder, and the shelter is possibly almost about 12 to 14 feet high. Okay, so he would, and then if you're standing on ground level, that's on the inside. If you stay on the ground level, you're going to have to go, have to be a step on the step ladder 
or even an extension ladder up to about almost maybe 15 to 20 feet in between there to take a shot to where the exit is because remember the exit is behind this wall down at ground level again as I point out to people and I tell people but they still want to push this as one of the government's location but as you see here there is no way a shot can be coming from that location so now we eliminated this one so now that's eliminated this guy here is eliminated that's eliminated no shots came from there so now what we're going to do is we're going to go into the manhole cover okay here is an image of that manhole cover right here the angle now JFK was shot over here you see where my cursor is shot over here there's that manhole cover we have to look at this because this is what I did I looked at it measured from here to here and we have to look at it this fact that this manhole cover see where this red line is right here where this red line is okay that's where the road stops underneath where that manhole cover is remember the drain comes in here you got the drain but the road ends right here okay by this line right here that's where the road ends so from here to here is brick concrete and everything else and that storm drain we have to take this in consideration now remember that as when you're doing research and investigation so I placed a rifle in that location not a real rifle but you're gonna see in this next image here that eliminates the storm drain of a shot being fired from the storm drain as you see here if we take a rifle and we put it in this position remember JFK was shot over here watch my cursor JFK was shot over here by an angle and that's with a, a assassin in that storm drain because remember you got this much thing you gotta be working with and you gotta be like this this rifle is gonna be pointed upward and he's never gonna have a clear shot to JFK from here and remember you got your arm right there as well when you're taking aim okay even if you extend it out here so now we're gonna if we extend my arm out this way we'll have to point the rifle over in this direction which brings more over here so when you see it taking a shot of a rifle and remember this slope here because right here is where that storm drain is okay we got this line right here this is where the storm drain ends the concrete part of the storm drain because we got that little sloop right that's in here and with him here right what you see the clip if he has a clip on this rifle he would have to move back more because the rifle would have to stick in a little more because it'd be hitting this brick wall that's on the inside of the storm drain okay so basically there is no way a man can get a clear shot to JFK there is no way a man can get a clear shot from JFK because see how that rifle is pointing right over here is the X okay right here is the X where JFK was shot but there's a big secret about that which I want no I'm not gonna reveal out right now it's gonna be revealed in the documentary but you see where's our rifle pointing at that's where the fatal headshot occurred supposedly where the fatal headshot occurred right there there's the X in the, in the road with the rifle pointing here now remember like I said I would have to come back a little bit more so this clip can be on this side of that brick wall because this is where it stops at right here okay so where is he aiming at okay we'll bring it over here so you can see it the X is over here the rifle could only stick out right over here so now we eliminated the drain man because there is no shooter in a drain okay now we go to the south side all right uh, let's see here I won't reveal that right now no here it is right here I'll probably reveal it right now this is south side okay JFK could not get hit from this location here because as you see this lamppost right here remember like I said there's trucks parked right here as we see in the Spruder film there's trucks parked along here other vehicles and everything else like that JFK would have been over here and remember the vehicles moving we have the driver we have the passenger we have Governor Conley we have Mrs. Conley and then JFK and Mrs. Kennedy which would be right behind here cannot have a clear shot to JFK from the south side so now we eliminate the south side 
Like I said, photographic evidence. They should never even want me to go down there. When I went down there, I investigated everything. Even the overpass, I did. I look at the overpass right here because they said a shot came from the front, you know, and everything else like that. We see the X right here. We're standing up front here. Now, remember, there's a bunch of people on the overpass, and plus, I mean, on the triple overpass there. Plus, there's two police officers at each end. Again, there's no way a gunman could take a clear shot to JFK from this location. So, we eliminated this because they said it came in from the windshield. Even when we did the one in James, where James Tag was standing, if you line it up, he had to be standing right next to James Tag to take a shot through a windshield. But then again, he still might hit uh, the driver, Governor Conley, before he would even make contact with JFK. So this eliminates anywhere above the triple overpass. And inside or ground level through the front windshield or anything else. So that eliminates all that because that's what a researcher does. They eliminate it when you do an investigation. Now we're going to talk about the badge man. I'm not trying to be smart about it. It's just, you know... They push these things and push these things, but I give them that respect on could be, could not be. All right. Now we're going to go and step right into the same location as the badge man, which I'll pull this one up to here. Remember they said there's a badge man there, right? I'm going to zoom in on, well, let's shrink this first. Then we'll bring in the badge man. Okay. Remember they said there was a badge man there. Put him over here. We'll put these guys over here. And then later on, there's two more guys standing next to him. Okay, the badge man behind the picket fence now. Behind the picket fence. Now, we're going to get that view from behind the picket fence. Let's see, right here. Now, we're going to bring this one up. Bring these two up here, here. As you see here, this is what the gunman angle, he will be shooting right here. Can you see GFK's number from this way? You can't even see the road from this location. But this is the badge man's location. Only time you get to see the road is right here, but he wasn't shot down here. GFK, there was no X. The X is, we marked it almost even with this in front of this one like in this angle here the X would be over here so he would be shooting the wall you see what I'm saying so he'd be shooting he's standing here because you see there's no X here and you got three gentlemen standing right here okay you got three gentlemen right here JFK was shot on the other side of this wall down on the street level here okay this is the view that the gunman had the so-called badge man's view now how can you take a shot at JFK that bullet didn't go through the concrete and then go up and then down and then down this way and then that way, right? So that eliminates the badge man. Okay, now we eliminate the badge man. See, photographic evidence. Uh, what we're going to show you here now is the map right here. We eliminated this location here, as you see on this map. We eliminated the south side. Anything that's marked in red, we eliminate it because there's no way a clear shot to JFK from this location. Same thing as the triple overpass and even under the triple underpass. There's no way a shot can be taken from this location or even along this section here. There is no way they can have a clear shot because I placed the people right back in this location as well. And they couldn't have a clear shot because of the trees that's still, you know, there. And the trees are there still. and But they're just a little bit bigger, which I took into consideration stuff, but still you could not get a clear shot to JFK from them locations. So we eliminate from this point all the way to this point, from this point to this point behind the picket fence area. Now all we have left is this one spot right here, which I'll circle right here, which is on the corner of the picket fence because we eliminated all this. And I have the evidence to prove this has all been eliminated. And as you've seen some of it here. Now, this eliminates these gunmen. Now let's look at the Mormon photo. And let's look at the Sapruder film. Now we're just talking about the corner of the picket fence. 
as you see right here this is the Mormon photo corner of the picket fence this is a Spruder film the corner of the picket fence right here there is nobody there none of the film shows anybody in the corner of the picket fence and this is around the time of the fatal headshot the JFK remember the badge man they said was right in this location which will bring this back up they said the badge man's in this location right here but I just showed you that this location here the gunman didn't even have a clear shot to JFK right and as you see here in the Mormon photo there is no way and there is no body. And believe you me, I went ahead and I got a picture. I stood in the same exact spot where Mary Mormon was standing when she took her picture. And I lined up all this. This tree's still there. This tree's still there. And there's another tree over here and stuff. And these trees are still here. And I lined all this up between the image I took and the image that she took. And it's all still the same. These, these little trees right here are still the same right here in these locations here. There's still, you know, these are branches coming across here. You know, there's nobody behind the picket fence. And we can see there's nobody on the corner. There's nobody there. Nobody there. Oops. I closed out of everything, didn't I? Now you know how my movie magic's made. Nope, wrong one. I'll make a plan. I'll make a free videos today so you get to see some of it. Now. We just eliminated the badge man. We just eliminated the guy from the Orville Nix film. Right? So, also in the process, as you noticed, that we also eliminated James Files' story. We also eliminated his story. And we also eliminated the story that's told about Charles Harrelson. Because remember, he was the man behind the picket fence area, right? We just eliminated these three locations, as you have seen for yourself. We have eliminated the, these government's locations. So now, when we eliminate that, we eliminated this guy right here. We know it's not true. We eliminate the badge man. We know it's not true. We eliminated Charles Harrelson because it's not true. We eliminated James Files because it's not true. Now let's look at the map now. So we eliminated, we eliminated, no shots can be taken from the south side. No shots can be taken from the triple overpass or even under the triple overpass. No shots can be taken over here. No shots can be taken anywhere along this picket fence. No shots can be taken from this point to this point behind the picket fence. That only limit that only left us one place here. And we know there wasn't nobody in the storm drain. We know there wasn't nobody in the storm drain. So we lemon just eliminated that. So we just eliminated now the corner of the picket fence. Because I've done the testing. I have the evidence to show a gunman did not have a clear shot to JFK from these locations period so when we eliminated that that means that the James Files story is false the story about Charles Harrelson being an assassination behind a picket fence is false any shots coming from behind a picket fence is false any shots that's coming from the south side is false any uh, shots come from the triple overpass or even under triple overpass is false because we already done them testings and it's proven that there is no way a shot can make the fatal headshot to JFK from these locations. Plus, we also know that there was no gum inside the storm drain because, as I pointed out here, and we see this with our own eyes now, there's the X right here. And for a gum in to shoot here, remember, this is where the wall stops on the inside of the storm drain. And remember, I pushed this rifle over here a little bit. Now, we got to push this rifle back just a little bit more. So, if we push this rifle back a little bit more, we're going to be cocking the angle of this rifle over this way just a little bit more, but she'd be shooting somebody over here. 
in this location here. So you see, there is no gunman behind the picket fence. There was no gunman in the storm drain. There was no gunman on the uh, overpass. There was no on the triple overpass. There was no gunman there or under the triple overpass. And there was no gunman on the south side because I studied Daily Plaza all the way around in the loop to check out every angle as if possible. Even cars that was dri uh, driving by. I study how people was positioned, even in their cars and stuff. And there's no way a clear shot to JFK can come from any of these locations. With that in mind, and this is just a little taste, just a little taste of what's going to be a documentary, because there's going to be this and a lot more. But just, just I just want to give people just a little bit of taste of what's in that documentary. Because there is no evidence to back up any Gum in behind the picket fence area, storm drain, south side, triple overpass, or anything else. No shots came from any of those locations. This is a fact now. I've just showed you the gunman's locations. This is that gunman that they said was found in the Orville Nix film. This is his location. As you see, can you take a shot from this location and shoot JFK down here? No, you can't. It's on the road. Can you take a shot to JFK from the badge man's position? No, you can't. You would have to wait till he gets over here from away from behind the brick wall. But the X is on the other side of this brick wall here. It's not down here. And you only got, and you got three men standing here. If you watch my cursor, you got three men standing right here. Right? And I know I'm down here. Okay? You got three men standing right here. You got from this point here. Now, this railing wasn't there back then. But you got from this point here to this point here. But JFK wasn't shot in this location at all. He was shot on the other side of this wall right here. And this is the view. If I was aiming to where the X was, this is my view that I would have through a scope right here. I'll be aiming right here. See where the cursor is moving around? That's where I would have to be aiming at right there for me to be lined up with that X. Because you can't get a clear shot from this view. So we eliminated the badge man. So you see, the type of research I do, I look at facts. I present facts. I don't, I don't present false claims because I knew no shots could come from these locations. And being there, I've proven that no shots can come from these locations. Okay, because people don't understand that when I do an investigation, I go in depth. So I just want to make this video here to show people that when you talk about the JFK assassination and you're going to say there was a gunman in a storm drain or along the triple overpass or even under the triple overpass or on the south side or behind a picket fence anywhere, behind a picket fence, there's going to be false stories because you cannot get a clear shot to JFK from these locations and I can prove it. And as you just seen here. As you just seen in this video here, okay, just like when I tell people about the storm drain, everybody wants to push that storm drain assassin, okay. You put, you got you got to take in consideration. <clears throat> That's why I said when people does when they come up with a story, they don't give you no explanation behind it. They don't sit there and try to explain well this is how it was done or nothing because there is no possible way you can explain it was done. You could just say the story there was a gunman in the drain. Storm drain took the fatal headshot JFK. That's it. Where is the evidence to prove that there was a gunman there? Can you show us angles? Can you show us this or that? As you see right here where the rifle is, okay? They're not taking consideration that the wall, the road stops here. So you basically got a wall right in front of you when you're looking out of the storm drain, okay? And it's back further as you see right here, okay? Now as you see how the angle of this rifle is, and that's not... You know, if I extend my arm out and I'm aiming a rifle, see how my arm's extended out, and I'm aiming a rifle, if I'm putting out position, I'll be stand, I'll be right over in this location here. By the time I extend my arm out to take aim to fire that shot, my elbow will be touching the wall right here, as you see right here. Not up here, but right here is where my elbow will be touching, right there against that wall. Now, if I brought my arm down, I would have to be crunched up like this, 
But again, when I'm doing it that way, I still will be back a little bit further. And that angles, this rifle will be angled more and more and more over this direction to the right than to the left because the X is right here. Wait, if you watch my cursor. I'll move it over here because I know I'm over here. The X is right here where the cursor is. Now I'll try to zoom in just a little bit more so we can see the tip of that rifle. Okay, we'll see the tip of that rifle. Okay, there's where we're aiming at, right here. There's where the X is. Now, is that lining up? So again, I just proved right there, no storm drain shooter. So you see, I don't like to point out this kind of stuff. I don't like to have to disprove other people's research, but it has to be to prove that there was no gum in, in these locations because the pure sum fact of it is the truth is never going to be told, the truth is never going to be revealed until the evidence is presented to show that this didn't happen or that didn't happen. Same thing as presenting evidence what really happened in JFK assassination. You have to present evidence for that and you have to present evidence for the false claims as well. So as you just seen in this video here, the James File stories, false. He was not an assassin in the JFK assassination. Charles Harrelson, again, false stories there. He was not assassinated in JFK assassination. Badge Man, another false story. There is no Badge Man. Point blank, period. And, and the gunman as supposedly seen in the Orville next film, as I pointed out, there's no way you can have a clear shot either, so that eliminates him. So see, now I just eliminated their story. This is why they was on me. This is only a little bit part of why they was didn't like me being there. Because I present the evidence. I show people what is the realistic to the case and take the false stories and throw them away because the false stories is what's hurting this case it's a murder case so you see the information that they're giving out to people every day in Dealey Plaza is false information and these people are going to go home with false information people came there to visit the site people came there to see and learn and hear exactly what took place that day but all they're receiving is false information. There was no gum in the storm drain. There was no gum in behind the picket fence area. There was no gum in on the south side. And there was no gum in on the overpass, triple overpass, or the under, trip, under the triple overpass. There is no gum in those locations. As you just seen here, as I just revealed it. This is just a little bit, just a little bit. I wanted to show people the things I've done when I was there. I wanted to show people what's going to be in this documentary, plus a lot more. A lot, a lot more. Like I said, there's going to be some more surprises that no one's ever even knew about, but I'm also going to reveal that too in my research and in the documentary. So don't forget that like button. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to tell your friends about it. It's always in the description down below. You find a book, I mean, a site where you can own my book, Evidence and Conspiracy, the only book you ever need in a JFK assassination. And you also see in the description down below, if you still want to make your donations, you can. You have to show the live first. $30 or more, you get a free copy of the DVD when this documentary is done. Thank you, and you have a pleasant, pleasant day.